Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this Power BI tutorial video I will show you the calculate table function. Calculate table function is a very useful one which probably you will use it once you get to know about it uh, because it helps you create a new table or a virtual table based on a given condition. Many times from the existing table you may want to create a whole together new table for example uh, let's say you have this table which i am using the orders table if i go into this uh, data mode then you will see that a lot of tables the columns are present like order date priority ship mode uh, customer name province region whatnot right now you may have a scenario let's say you want to get only the low order priority or you want to get only those orders where sales is greater than hundred dollars let's say for that particular reason so in those scenarios the calculate table will come very handy where you will have your main table orders along with the another table uh, that will you know sit beside to this order table all right so how do you do that well for that particular scenario you go into the modeling right and come over here write a dex expression to create a new table and table we will going to create using the uh, calculate table so what i will going to write is high sales value order high underscore sales is i will say and i will write this calculate table as you can see it evaluates the table expression in the context modified by filter so i press tab to complete the calculate table function now i need to specify the table and the table that we have is the order and now i have to specify filter i can specify one filter or i can specify multiple filter now since we are just looking at it very first time i will keep it simple and I will say order sales is greater than 500, right? So all in all, what it is basically saying is create a new table where from the orders table where order sales is greater than 500. So what I have just done is if you are coming from the SQL background, I have just translated the calculate table to you in a SQL query format. All right, so once I press enter, it will do the processing and you would see the high underscore sales table is present here now you can see how handy or how useful it can become in scenario like those where you don't want to touch your main table but you want to create tables out of the main table based on a specific condition or a specific business scenario for which you want to keep the records separate all right so once i come over here in this data you see the high sales and over here you will see the sales that is greater than basically of 500 so over here if you see you have got 540 583 so whatever be the sales amount if you would if i just click over here you will see that it will start from 500 and goes all the way up to that whatever is the maximum sales value is up until the end which is 945 now if you see uh, if i come over here in the orders table you have order orders table intact and nothing is coming over here as as come to the filter you have all the order values right so both of these tables are present and uh, similarly if you want you can create new table so for example as an exercise what you should do is why don't you go ahead and create the low order priority table as one table give it a name low order priority and from the shipping mode create one table where it is delivered by express air right so that something you can do as a two different exercises um, uh, for for this particular scenario now there is one more way by which you can use the calculate table function and that is by creating a new measure so in a similar way if you don't need a table but if you want to create a measure that you can use it anywhere in the chart or visualization you can use that so once you click it over here on the new measure 
um, and you will say let's say for example um, high sales again I am using the same same basically uh, way to calculate using the calculate table function so now I will wrap the calculate table into the sum x because I am creating a measure and measure only returns one value right one value or basically the aggregated value so in that case I will use calculate table and in that calculate table I will specify what I want because if you see over here I need to first specify the table which is orders and then I will say hi order sales is greater than let's say 500 all right I am done so within the sum x I have got this table already created and now I can choose whatever expression I want so here I want to calculate the sales back to based on the condition that is being specified over here so once you do that click this um, come to the chart over here now if you see the high sales is part of the order table not something which is separate right so what I'll do is I will create this card and I will use the high sales over here so whatever is the highest sale uh, the the sales aggregated value which is more than 500 is coming over here now what I'll do is I will create the another card and I will just take the normal sales which is here all right this is coming same which is not the expected behavior so let me just go it over here very quickly and see so order high sales is greater than okay maybe what I need to do is I need to use the order sales over here that's probably the mistake which I have done okay I'll say sales which I should pick it up from order sales this one greater than 500 and then order sales because of this condition the it was not satisfying so it was picking up the entire value now it should pick the right value and if I just get and now you will see it has changed to 14.11 million so overall sales value is 14.9 and 14.11 so remember this uh, you can also do maybe a similar mistake when you are in the environment and you may wonder what what's going on so the best way is or the normal way or the standard way is to just go back and look at the definition uh, so if something incorrect that you have specified you will have to come back and do it again here so these are the two different scenarios I wanted to show you that how you can create uh, all together separate table as well as a measure based on the calculate table expression which you can use it very easily within your power bi environment for creation of the tables or charts or visualization so that's mainly about it I wanted to show you let me know what do you think about this video if you liked it hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to keep getting the videos like this and keep suggesting me if you have any new content idea I'll try to create a video out of it thank you